I'm Krzysztof, I've been a guide lawyer for four and a half years and I'm an engineering manager here. I'm Marta, I've been working guide lawyer for a little bit over two years and I'm a software engineer. I'm Maciek, I've been working here for like nine months and I'm a software development intern. Gateway at the end is a software company, right? So in some parts there might be a requirement to understand a little bit more around insurance. If you kind of implement those algorithms, then you probably need to go deeply into that. But there are purely technological aspects as well. It's way more complex than I realized when I was, you know, just a customer of an insurance company. I guess complexity is the thing that attracts talent in computer business, right? So, I mean, doing super simple things and repetitive, it's not really fun at the end, right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. if the kind of underlying business has requires some complex logic, some complex processing, this kind of gives you an opportunity to you know, design cool algorithms to handle that. We have like a lot of smart people around us like on a daily basis, so whatever something is wrong, like you can ask if you don't know something or like even if you have idea, you can say, oh, I have this idea, what do you think about it? Yeah, it goes back to the point that you cannot really master your craft alone, it's just you usually need some people who inspire you or, or kind of give you some hints and kind of push you forward. It's often hard to first ask a lot of questions. It's really helpful if someone else comes up to you and asks, hey, do you need any help? Do you feel good? Do you have any problems? And how can I help you? We don't blame each other here. We usually think of how we should fix the problem. I think that is the, the crucial part, right? If you don't make mistakes, you probably don't learn. It's just a matter of drawing the right conclusions and improving. I personally come from a very theoretical background. I've been studying algorithms for like six years. I've been programming almost my whole life in C++. And then I came here and I started working on front-end, which was something really new to me. It was a completely different experience from what I had before. I would say it was a pleasant one. I actually got to a new branch of uh, industry and learned a lot of new stuff. I joined as a Java developer as well and I guess my career kind of grew more into like a team leader role and then kind of picking up even more responsibilities of multiple teams. But that creates new challenges and kind of I guess that lets you develop as well. It's a very enriching experience and it allows you to see uh, software from different perspectives and learn from them as well. I also see like opportunities for grow like four years ago you were a developer like now you're a manager and that's something like I would maybe be interested as well so it's like those I see like the opportunity and like possible paths for me like different like they don't have to be like strictly in development. When the position open as a manager as an architect and some people might find it interesting this is kind of the first direction we go into. We kind of check with our internal people if this is something they would want to do. And you know, if that's possible, then we kind of try to kind of give them the skills they need to be successful in those roles and, and finally, you know, bring them to that those positions.